My journey into squash is quite a sporty one in the sense that as a kid, I trialed a lot of sports growing up. I joined most after school clubs involving sport and any sport that I was introduced to, I was keen to explore all the skills that were involved in it. Um, racket sports were probably by far my favourite. I really liked badminton. I liked tennis, short tennis as a little kid. Um, and for me, the squash courts where I grew up at the sports centre were right as you come in the door. It was a sport that always intrigued me. It was loud, <laughs> it was fast, and it looked really, really competitive in a gladiatorial sense. And I couldn't wait to try it. Um, and yeah, I, I loved it straight away. It gave me this real sense of ownership being an individual sport and being in such close proximity with my opponent. I really liked the fact that it was up to me and me only that the outcome and my performance, whereas in a team sport, you were reliant um, on others. So I very quickly loved the game and decided to do away with all the other sports as this one really took my fancy and I couldn't wait to get stuck into some competitions as a junior. So our first question for you is, what are your biggest sporting achievements? Ironically, I think all of my lowlights throughout my career have been my highlights. What I mean by that is whether it be a really bad loss, an injury, an illness, any form of adversity or a setback has given me the opportunity to grow in a positive way. Um, it's given me a chance to learn more about who I am if I'm doing things the, the way that's going to move me forward as a person, as a squash player. Um, and ultimately, they're your opportunities to turn the lowlights into highlights. So that's probably not the answer that you were expecting, but all of my lowlights are the highlights. The second question we have for you today is, what would you say your experience has been as a woman in sports? Being a girl and now a woman in sport and squash, I do feel quite lucky in the sense that there hasn't been too many things I've encountered to be difficult due to my gender. There's a few things that spring to mind, starting off as a little kid when I played on the boys football team as a little girl, that was frowned upon and then I was told that I could no longer compete in the boys team and I had to wait until hopefully a girls team started. Another memory I have is as a junior player growing up getting to the final of tournaments and the boys final was always last. It was on the Sunday afternoon and it was seen to be the highlight of the weekend and the under 19 girls event or under 17, under 15, whatever age group you like, the girls were always first and it was almost like, felt like a, a warm up to the, to the main event. And um, that's something that I feel has continued through into seniors um, at PSA tour events. Certainly the women, they go on first for their final followed by what feels like the main event, why everybody is there for the men's final. Other than that, there's fortunately not been much sexism in my sport or that I have certainly experienced. The PSA World Tour has done an incredible job in making sure that prize money is as equal as possible across the board. Now, 10 years ago, when I was just beginning my career, that certainly wasn't the case. The, the, the prize money differences between male and female was quite large. Um, but certainly now that that gap has closed. Otherwise, I feel quite lucky that there hasn't been anything that I've encountered um, due, to, due to being female. The theme for this year's International Women's Day is choose to challenge. Very interesting. What would I challenge? 
off the top of my head very quickly if I had to give one answer it would be probably coming from a senior executive level of management across all sports would just be to explore how many staff are female. Um, I think it's very important that at senior level, at management level, at chief executive level, there are female representative and also at, at, on the board, at board level in all sports. Um, I would be keen to challenge all sports in female roles at that level. And finally, what would you say to young girls in sport today? My advice to any young girls or women starting squash would be to make sure that ultimately you remember you're there to have fun. Squash is a very, very fun sport and you must remember to smile. I certainly enjoy every squash experience I have when I remember to smile and I realise how grateful I am to be able to run around the squash court and have fun. My second piece of advice would be don't be scared. Don't be scared to try it and don't be scared to be really bad at it. Um, I wish when I was a young girl that somebody was there to tell me it's okay to fail, it's okay to be bad and nobody is really watching. So go out there, be fearless and be yourself.